News at our border is uh, migrants crossing illegally and getting deported multiple times. In a News Nation exclusive, senior national correspondent Brian Enton went on a ride uh, with immigration agents to try to track down dangerous serial deportees. He has more on the story. Brian, good morning. Good morning, Adrian. Yeah, over the last several days, there has been this secret operation happening all over the country with these federal agents going after migrants with extensive criminal histories who they say pose a threat to public safety. The surge at the border is undeniable, with a record number of migrants illegally crossing and a large caravan on the way. Many just simply walk across and stay. Is that one of ours? But on the streets of cities across America, there are ICE operations that are not as easy to see. Hey everybody, as always, public safety and our safety of officers is the key. So anything doesn't look good, target doesn't look good, there's nothing, there's no target out there that's worth getting anybody hurt. News Nation with exclusive access as ICE agents go after some of the most dangerous illegal migrants in the U.S. as part of a special operation over the last week. Each one of these individuals has prior criminal record. And our fugitive operation team today is targeting one of those individuals. We're with agents as they target a Jamaican with a criminal history, including domestic battery. He has illegally snuck into the United States over and over again. An individual who, who re illegally re enters the United States. Oh, hold that. I got some target coming out. So let's, uh, oh, I think that might be him right there. I'm going to say that's him. Yeah, that's him. Yep. He might be the yeah, that's him. Agents spot the man on the sidewalk near an apartment in Miami. They approach, search him, cuff him, and take him away. After ICE picks up the repeat offenders, they're taken to processing facilities like this one called Chrome Detention Center outside Miami. This is where they'll stay until eventually getting deported. The Jamaican migrant is fingerprinted, questioned, and agents search his bag. There's possible prosecution and penalties, so this is part of that process. Regardless of whether the U.S. decides to press charges, this man will soon end up on an ICE air flight back to Jamaica. ICE arrests are down since President Biden took office. They've dropped by almost 50 percent from fiscal year 2019 to 2021. COVID is partly to blame, but President Biden has also changed ICE's priorities with a focus on only going after migrants with serious criminal histories. ICE arrests of immigrants convicted of aggravated felonies has gone up over the last year. We can't go after every individual in the country. We have to prioritize. We have to, to make sure that the cases we're going after uh, fall into the priorities and probably more importantly, fall into our limited resources. So we have to do it smartly, efficiently. And ICE did not allow us to show those migrants faces. Uh, those agents can really be in a tricky spot because the priorities of their job uh, change so much depending on who is president. Under President Trump, they were told to essentially go after all migrants who were in the country illegally, but now they are told to prioritize only the migrants who are considered dangerous. Adrian. All right, Brian, thank you so much. for. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.